we are going to be checking out some fishbone, ma and pa. And that's right, guys. You heard you heard this right. Old boy just sat down just at the right time. And he is horny for horns. Aren't you chuckles? Uh-huh. Ugh. Only a lot of it. Stand up. Let him see it. Let him see it. Oh, there you go. Oh, I love it. He was so excited about his new shirt, guys. I really was. Let's <laughs> <laughs> get a little my way and let's send this bad boy. Let's do it, chat. Let's get this night started with some mom pa. Let's do it. Let's take a serious topic and make it a blast. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Doing what Ska's done best since forever. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Uh, yes, A Wolf. I do know this song. I have heard it before. It is a banger. Obviously, I knew Chuck would want to take this punny thing he had going on here to love the full. It. So I was like, I had to find a Ska song real quick. And this was the, the first thing I saw. So. It's even on a cup. And he, didn't, he hasn't heard this one before. <laughs> this one says it. <laughs> it's now Chuck's personality. I hope you guys are happy with your fucking selves. Great. Uh, he's all proud of himself. But this song, dude. Yes. This song is, I love the dude's vocals. I, uh, is it a- Angelo? Chuck, can you check on that for me? Is it Angelo? I can't remember his name. But, dude, I, I love his vocals. Like, they're just, like, they're very polished, and yeah. they're really just... They just go right over the oh, instrumental, dude. Just 
beautiful. It just flows so well. Oh, man. And then uh, you had a very diverse instrumental there going on in the background. Uh-huh. And that was actually rather nice to hear with these. Yeah, and the uh, the horns weren't, like, predominant at all. They were just a nice they little They were, and the you. accent, <laughs> absolutely. Angelo, okay, yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah, I absolutely love his voice. There's just something about it that really just hits, hits home. Um, and then this has, like, just the trappings and, like, the feel of a classic song. I, I'm pretty sure it is probably considered a classic in the Scott community. I mean, uh, the listens, I, they are their, it is their top song. I know that. But it, it, like, it kind of has that same vibe as, like, this is going to be a little blasphemous uh, for the people that really like the specials, but um, Hey Rudy and, like, some of those have, like, that classic rock element almost that yeah. as well as a ska feel. And I really love that because it makes me nostalgic, you know, having grown up on classic rock. Yep. And then – it's obviously a lot more horns and a lot more jolly feeling than oh, yeah. any classic wrong rock song would ever be. But it's like the vocals. There's something there that really just catches that classic rock feel for me. I don't know I what it is. That, I think it's that vibe that it lays out. Like, it almost feels like, you know how classic rock just kind of flows through and just kind of hits you with that little bit of dance like that? Yeah. This has you doing, like, the same rhythm, but just more... Yay! <laughs> a lot of yay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like this. Um, this is already a playlist for me. Do you want to go ahead and lay them out my rating? Yep. Um, I'm going to go with a flat nine here. It's a banger of a tune. It's really good. It's lived in my playlist for a year or two. Um, when we saw them at Riot Fest, this is one of the song, like only songs I like really loved by them. Oh, okay. That I had heard, and uh, yeah, I was hooked for a minute. Yeah. This is going to go back in the casual right now too nice that's that's a good ass vibe i'm uh i'm at an 8.2 and i had to get to a playlist oh fuck yeah button oh yeah highly solid 